What's up YouTube, Antelon Tech here, and this isn't going to be a traditional style for the Tech Trend Tuesday video. Um, just had a lot of things going on that I'm um, kind of occupied with, but I did want to try to make some kind of video for you guys, just so that there's something that I can um, actually put out there today. So, um, this is a Mario related video, hence the gameplay here. And the gameplay is just random clips that I got from my game, so don't worry about that. But basically what's happening is last year, Nintendo did announce that certain Mario games will no longer be purchasable at the end of March. And um, being that we are in March now, uh, some people have been questioning Nintendo on this, trying to find out, are they actually telling the truth? Are they actually going to take these games down? And unfortunately, the answer is yes, that they are going to stop selling certain games at the end of March. Now, if you don't know what the games are, I will tell you now, which is the Mario 3D All-Stars. And they're also going to prevent you to play the free online game, um, Super Mario 35, uh, which if you don't know, that's only free if you have the uh, Nintendo Online service. And it's basically you against 34 other Marios to try to you know stay alive the longest so they are removing those games from the eShop um, which is kind of strange that these are a time to release and as for the um, physical copies of the 3d all-stars you may be able to find some in different stores but they won't be shipping any new copies after March so there's no telling whether or not these games or this the physical copy of these games will actually increase in value it probably will um, being that it's a limited release and it won't come out anymore. And it's really puzzling to, you know, to see this. Like, why are they doing just a limited release? A lot of people already questioned it. A lot of people are already wondering why it's a limited release. And we don't really have an actual uh, answer from Nintendo as to why they're doing it. And it's actually strange because during the Mario 35th anniversary celebration, they had a lot more of products that they were releasing. You have... The Mario Kart Home Circuit. You have the uh, the Puma sneakers that came out. Uh, you had the uh, the Mario Game and Watch, which I believe is also a, uh, an item that won't be um, shipping anymore after the end of March. Um, which the Game and Watch, while it was an interesting um, idea, it was just overpriced at fifty dollars. So I wouldn't even bother with that. But again, it's like. Why are you doing this to your number one franchise, your company's main mascot? It just didn't make sense to have this um, happen. And we don't know what's, you know, Nintendo's reasoning for it. We don't know what's happening next. Um, we don't know if this would ever happen again, if there's like a 40th anniversary, if they're going to do a limited release. Now, one of the theories that came out um, last year was that after March, when they stopped selling these games, there was a theory that they might re-release the three games from the 3D All-Stars, but just in um, individual um, listings on the eShop. I don't think that's true. I think if they were to do that, they would be, you know, typical Nintendo and charge you $60 for each game individually, um, being that it is a Mario title and it is their mascot. So I don't think they will do that individually. I still don't even know why they would um, have it as a limited release. There was also a theory that maybe they're working on an actual remaster or a remake of these games. I also don't think that's going to happen. I think that's highly unlikely. Um, so, unfortunately, if you didn't get these games yet, you may not have a chance to pick them up. Um, so, if you don't have it now and you do want to get it, try to get it. I will say that the 3D All-Stars package is not that great. Um, I've had it. It's um, some for some of the games the controls are terrible. Um, I, I would say it's only worth buying for Mario Galaxy. That seems to be the one that worked the best. As for Mario Sunshine, I always wanted to try Mario Sunshine, and it turns out it just wasn't that fun for me. Um, but that's just uh, my opinion. Uh, and don't even bother with Mario 3D because it, it's just it's it's a terrible uh, port for that. So. That's my video for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching and listening, and I hope you guys are doing okay. And I hope you're keeping your heads up. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. I'm Anthony Online Tech. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.